Hey y'all. So just wanted to stop in real quick and just kind of fill you in on a misconception that I learned when working in a uh, my, the retirement community that I work for that a lot of people thought. A lot of people thought that their Medicare and or secondary insurance would would pay for their independent living, assisted living or skilled nursing. That is actually not true. All of that is private pay. What Medicare and or your secondary insurance may pay for, again, depending on your plan, is rehabilitation. What's rehabilitation? Well, let's say you've been in the hospital, you fell and broke your hip, or um, maybe you had a double knee replacement, or maybe you were just really, really sick and you're still weak, um, and the hospital is discharging you uh, from their care and you're not quite ready to make that full transition home you can actually go to a rehab facility a skilled nursing um, facility that provides rehabilitation um, to get a little bit stronger to make you ready to transition back home if that's what you choose to do when you're in the rehabilitation side of it uh, medicare your secondary insurance could help pay for uh, physical therapy speech therapy occupational therapy um, all of that kind of good stuff. So it just helps you to get back on your feet. They will only do it for a certain amount of time. So, but it, you know, it is an added benefit. But when you start thinking about, you know what, I, I want to sell my house. I want to go buy in Del Webb or Four Seasons. Um, you're actually buying a home there. So that's really not going to be any different than kind of how you're living now, except for you're paying monthly fees, your regime fees, your HOA. Way, uh, that will help cover some of your activities and pool membership and pickleball and activities and you know lawn care and that kind of stuff but it's not going to cover the expenses of like if your roof needs to be replaced or if you have to if you have to replace your HVAC once you start kind of transitioning and saying you know what I want to go to retirement community I want some independent living you're going to pay uh, a monthly fee and that monthly fee um, when you're looking and talking to these different communities, you need to ask what it covers. Uh, does it cover food? Does it cover transportation? Does it cover utilities? Does it cover if my roof leaks? You know, those kind of things. Then after independent living comes assisted living. And assisted living is where you're going to need a little bit more help with your ADLs, your average daily living tasks. Do you need help reminding, you know, reminders of uh, taking your medication? Or does your family member need help with that? Does your family member member or yourself need help with using the restroom or showering or getting dressed or anything like that? That is called assistant living and your monthly fee will be based on your level of care and how much you're needing. Uh, and then the next level is skilled nursing and or what some people call a nursing home and that can be very costly. That's where you are needing around the clock nursing care. From my understanding that can just start at about $10,000 a month. But unfortunately, what a lot of people think is that their insurance is going to pay for that. And it won't. It won't pay for that independent living. It won't pay for that the assisted living. It won't pay for skilled nursing. Some people say, well, I'll just get Medicaid. And yes, Medicaid is available, but you have to qualify for Medicaid. It all depends on your, in your income, your Social Security, your retirement. You have to qualify. Now, Medicaid will pay for some of the care as a senior, but again, it goes back to, it can do you qualify? Do you make too much money? If you make too much money, uh, then you can't get Medicaid. They will also do a look back as well. So I've had a lot of people say, you know what? I'll just give all my assets to my family and friends and then I'll get on Medicaid. That is actually not the truth because they're going to look back. They're going to take a deep dive and see exactly where your assets have gone. So so I hope this was helpful. It's very daunting when you kind of get to that point. Uh, and a lot of people just kind of wait to the last minute until it's needed. So please, you know, hit me up. If you have any questions, feel free to ask. Give me a call. Email me. Drop me a message on Facebook. I'd be happy to help in any way I can. Because it's not about just selling real estate. It's making sure that everybody understands um, what that transition looks like for our seniors. Y'all have a great day.